So let's segue to this. The Miami Hurricanes are going to be taking on Clemson. This is going to be the biggest game of college football this upcoming weekend. And as of October 4th, Sunday night, 10.43 p.m. Eastern Time, Clemson is entering this game as a 15-point favorite. And a lot of Clemson fans have been going on social media saying that the Miami Hurricanes don't have a chance at winning this game. That Clemson is just going to completely obliterate Miami this weekend. And my guy, NMD TV, Kane said the best. If you're a Miami Hurricane fan, make sure that you guys go ahead and check out my guy, NMD TV, Kane's. I'll link his channel down in the description, in the comment section down below. But he said the best. A lot of Clemson fans are saying that Clemson's going to win this game against Miami because it's Clemson. Okay, so just because they're Clemson, they're automatically going to win this game against Miami. Miami doesn't stand a chance. I guess based on that logic, LSU should have beaten Mississippi State because it's LSU, right? So that logic doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. And I mean, if you're a Clemson fan, give me three reasons down in the comment section down below if you're watching this on YouTube of why Clemson will beat Miami. And I mean, when you look at this game and you look at the rosters, I mean, I don't think Clemson is all that better than Miami. I mean, is Clemson a better team Miami? I think they are. But I mean, aside from a couple of positions, like obviously they have the advantage at quarterback. Trevor Lawrence is going to be the number one overall pick in next year's NFL draft. You got Travis Etienne and you got Amari Rodgers at wide receiver. So I mean, you have Miami beat at quarterback. You have Miami beat at halfback. And I mean, you may have the advantage at wide receiver. I don't really know. But I mean, aside from that, which other positions is Clemson really completely better than Miami? I don't think Clemson is all that better than Miami heading into this game. And I think Miami has a better chance to win this game than what a lot of people think. A lot of Clemson fans keep saying that Miami hasn't played nobody. Miami's overrated like always. Miami played UAB, FSU, and Louisville. They haven't played nobody. Well, I mean, who the hell has Clemson played? You can That same argument that you Clemson fans are using against Miami, saying that Miami hasn't played anybody, you can use that as the exact same argument against Clemson. Who has Clemson played? You guys play Citadel and the University of Virginia. Like, who is Citadel? Like, is Citadel even a division? What is up, everybody? It's JT Sports. I'm here with a real quick message. So... I know a lot of you guys try to reach me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'm not always able to get back to you guys' DMs, but I created a group chat on this new app called Flick. What Flick is, it allows people to create communities to talk about sports. I created a group chat on there. I will appreciate and love if you guys go ahead and click that link down in the comment section and description down below to join me on there. It's the best way to get in contact with me if you guys want my thoughts on something. It also has polls in there. You guys get to predict who will win certain matches matchups you can ask questions and not only does it allow you to get in contact with me but it also allows you to connect with other people who also click the link down below to join my group on flick as well so make sure that you guys go ahead click that link down in the description and the comment section down below it'll take you to the app if you don't have it installed already once you install the app you just create your account and it'll automatically add you to my group so you guys can get in contact with me and other people as well who click the link now back to the video Vision one college football program i don't even know I've, I've never even heard of a citadel like what is a citadel i don't even know that but i'm pretty sure if miami played the exact same teams that clemson played this season they would still be three and no if miami had clemson scheduled for the first couple of games this week this year miami would still be three and no so i mean a lot of you clemson fans are calling miami overrated they haven't beaten nobody you haven't beaten nobody neither so i mean i don't really understand the logic heading into this game now, does Clemson have some advantages? Yes, you're better at Miami at quarterback and halfback and maybe wide receiver. I don't really know. Aside from Amari Rodgers, I don't really know who else Clemson has playing wide receiver. But you have talent, okay? You are better at, than Miami at two positions. Other than that, I don't really think that Clemson is all that better than Miami at any other position. So, I mean, Miami has a really good chance of winning this game. And, I mean, when you look at Clemson, you didn't play all that well against Virginia. I mean, you beat Virginia 41-23. The score was a lot closer. 
or the game was a lot closer, excuse me, than what the final score indicates. Like, the final score says 41-23 Clemson, but the game was way closer than that, okay? Like, Virginia was hanging around with Clemson. If it wasn't for the couple of turnovers that that quarterback for Virginia chucked up, the game could have been really different. So, I mean, Miami has a really good chance to win in this game than what a lot of people are giving them credit for. This is a really good Miami team. Like, this is probably one of the best Miami teams that Miami has put on the field in a very long time. And I'm not saying that because I'm a delusional Hurricane fan or anything like that. I'm just being honest. De'Ari King is a legitimate quarterback. Like, you're not facing a... Uh, uh, Malik Rose or something like that like you're facing a legitimate quarterback you're facing the Eric King one of the most dynamic quarterbacks in college football so the question is going to be can Clemson's linebackers how are they going to perform in this game because Clemson's linebackers are going to have to play really good if they want to you know blow out Miami quote quote because Miami is one of the best rushing teams in college football especially with Cameron Harris not only that but Clemson's linebackers not only do they have to worry about stopping Cameron Harris in his run game in Miami but you also have to be able to stop tight end Brevin Jordan who's the second best tight end in college football behind Kyle Pitts also not only do you have to worry about the run game in Brevin Jordan but you also have to worry about the zone read with the Eric King you have to be able to account for him as well so I mean for Clemson's defense <laughs> They're going to have some things that they're going to have to game plan for. It's a lot of things that you have to worry about when you face this Miami offense. You got to worry about the zone read with the Eric King. You got to worry about Cameron Harris. You got to worry about Brevin Jordan. So, I mean, Miami has a lot of weapons on offense in their own right. A lot of people talked about what Clemson has on offense. Given We know about Travis Etienne. We know about Trevor Lawrence. We know about Amari Rodgers. But let's not act like Miami doesn't have guys that can, you know, play as well, okay? And then on defense, okay, Miami – has Quincy Roche and Jalen Phillips. Both of those guys are going to have to have a really big game if Miami wants to be able to pull off the upset against Clemson because we already know the biggest key to beating Clemson is getting pressure on Trevor Lawrence. If you get pressure on Trevor Lawrence and you get in his face and you make him feel you, he is a completely different quarterback. He is not the same quarterback he is under pressure when he's not throwing from a clean pocket. If you get in his face, he will struggle. Okay, and a lot of people don't want to point that out, but I saw it last year against Ohio State, and I saw it the year prior against Notre Dame. In that first half game that Clemson played against Notre Dame, well, not in the first half, the first quarter, excuse me, a couple years ago when they were facing Notre Dame, before Notre Dame ended up getting throttled by Clemson, the first quarter of that game, Notre Dame was hanging around, and the reason why is because they were able to get pressure on Trevor Lawrence. We saw that same thing came to light last year in college football playoffs when they faced Ohio State and when they were facing LSU. If you get pressure on Trevor Lawrence, he is not the same quarterback that everybody makes him out to be, okay? Like, under pressure, Trevor Lawrence really struggles. And if Quincy Roche and Jalen Phillips are able to get a legitimate amount of pressure on Trevor Lawrence in this game, it could be a very long afternoon or a very long night for Trevor Lawrence. So then, if you're a Miami fan, you got to be worried about your linebackers. I talked about Clemson's linebackers having to play well, but you also got to talk about Miami's linebacking court because I don't think Miami's linebackers have played all that great. And to be honest, I think pretty much the weakest Part of this defense for Miami, their secondary has played really good. Their defensive line has played really good. But their linebackers have played not all that great. And, I mean, if you're Miami, your linebackers got to play the best game of their whole entire college career because you're facing Travis Etienne. Travis Etienne does it all for this Clemson offense. He's catching passes out of the backfield. He's also running the football as well. So, I mean, you really have to have an incredible game and you want to hope to stop Travis Etienne. And, I mean, Miami's linebackers have not played all that well. Now, another matchup that I want to see, I want to see Al Blades versus Amari Rodgers. I want to see what Al Blades does against Amari Rodgers, one of the best wide receivers in college football. Now, Al Blades has played really well, in my opinion. I don't know about any other Miami Hurricane fans. I don't know if any other Hurricane fans feel the same way I feel about um, Al Blades, but I think Al Blades has played really well. And I want to see what he's going to do against Amari Rodgers because if Miami wants to win this game, you got to take away Amari Rodgers. Okay, Amari Rodgers is the best wide receiver on Clemson's roster. So if you take away Amari Rodgers, you're going to force some of these other guys at the wide receiver position for Clemson to step up. You're going to force Trevor Lawrence to find some other guys to throw the football to. So I want to see what Al Blades does against Amari Rodgers. I think that's a very important one-on-one -one matchup that a lot of people, if you're a Clemson fan or you're a Miami Hurricane fan, that you need to be having your eyes 
eyes on. Now, the Miami Hurricanes, since they are the underdog, if they want to pull out the upset, we already know the biggest key to pulling off the upset is not turning the football over. I don't think Derrick King has thrown the interception all this year. I don't think he has had any turnovers so far this season. So if you're Miami, you have to be able to take that up. You have to be able to keep that up because the only way you're going to win this game is if you take care of the football. You can't, you know, pull off an upset if you are turning the football over multiple times. So Miami needs to keep on the performance that they've been doing when it comes to taking care of the football. They've been taking care of the football so far very well at this part of the season. So they need to be able to keep that up if they want to be able to win this game. And also, I want to see some of these other wide receivers for Miami step up because Brevin Jordan is leading the Miami Hurricanes and touchdowns, receiving yards, and receptions. I want to see some of these other wide receivers like Mark Pope or Harley break out in this game because Brevin Jordan has pretty much been the most reliable target in the passing game for Miami. Now, I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. I don't know if that's just the system that Rick Lashley is running or things like that. The Brevin Jordan is supposed to be the primary target. But I would like to see some more guys step up at the wide receiver position for Miami. So my final score prediction in this game, I think that, huh, this is tough, man. I'm going to have to say that Clemson wins this game 31 to 28. Okay, I think Clemson still gets this victory, but I still think Miami has a really good chance of pulling off the upset than what a lot of people expect them to. I think a lot of people are coming into this game with the expectation that Clemson is just going to steamroll Miami. This is just another overrated Miami team, and I don't think that's the case. Miami has a really good chance of pulling off this victory. I'm going to take Clemson to win 31-28, even though I am a Miami Hurricane fan because I don't want to get ahead of myself. I think Miami can, you know, pull off the upset. I am going to be rooting for Miami, but from a non-biased standpoint, I still think that Clemson may be able to get the victory in this game. 31-28 is my final score prediction in this game. I'm taking Clemson, but I'm rooting for the Miami Hurricanes to win.